The world is currently undergoing a profound transformation in its energy generation and consumption patterns. Deep within California's Moss Landing, a groundbreaking project is taking shape, poised to play a pivotal role in this energy revolution. In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the heart of energy transformation with a special focus on Tesla's revolutionary Megapack. Tesla has undeniably secured a prominent position in popular consciousness, principally renowned for its pioneering electric vehicles and its visionary CEO, Elon Musk. However, transcending the automotive domain, Tesla's been orchestrating a discreet yet profound revolution within another industry – energy storage. In the year 2015, Tesla made its strategic foray into the energy sector, a move that materialized as the Megapack system an embodiment of the manner in which this automotive behemoth adeptly applies its battery expertise to overhaul the energy landscape. Through its enterprising venture into energy storage solutions, Tesla's stationary energy storage division has not only exhibited considerable potential, but has also yielded a staggering annual revenue run rate, amounting to a remarkable $6 billion. One of Tesla's pioneering achievements in this sphere is the innovative Powerwall home battery system, introduced in 2015. Conceived with the purpose of accumulating surplus energy generated by solar panels during periods of low demand, the Powerwall empowers homeowners to harness and deploy renewable energy with notable efficiency. Its sleek and compact design, harmonized with Tesla's distinguished repute for avant-garde technology, expeditiously propelled the Powerwall into the limelight. Exploiting the triumph achieved with the Powerwall, Tesla embarked on an expansion of its energy storage repertoire, encompassing more extensive solutions such as the Powerpack and Megapack. These industrial-grade energy storage systems are tailored to serve utilities, commercial enterprises, and even entire communities offering adaptable and environmentally sustainable energy remedies. In the month of April in the year 2023, Tesla unveiled its financial outcomes for the initial quarter of that year. The disclosure illuminated a notable 24% upsurge in revenue in comparison to the preceding year of 2022. Nevertheless, this commendable financial performance was counterbalanced by a reduction of 21% in adjusted earnings per share EPS. The moderation in the pace of revenue expansion and the contraction in profitability can be primarily attributed to the corporate decision to curtail vehicle prices, a strategic maneuver implemented in the preceding quarter aimed at enhancing market competitiveness. The roots of the project at Pacific Gas and Electric Company's PG&E Moss Landing substation can be traced back to 2017 when it was submitted to CPUC and discussions with Tesla began. These negotiations subsequently evolved into a substantial undertaking. This initiative encompasses a quartet of distinctive energy storage projects, out of which two incorporate the utilization of Tesla's Megapack technology, positioning them for a potential claim to the accolade of being the world's most expansive battery systems. By 2018, access had been secured to Tesla's proposal for this venture. The proposal unveiled the company's intentions to deploy its Megapack technology, a departure from its customary use of power packs for large-scale utility projects. This project was one of the initial instances where the new battery system was announced for deployment. However, the actual realization of the project took considerable time, during which numerous other Megapack projects came into existence. The culmination of efforts came in 2020, when official approval was granted for the project. Tesla initiated construction for the inaugural phase of this endeavor in July of that year. It was in this context that PG&E declared the full operational status of the Tesla Megapack project. PG&E has achieved a significant milestone with the successful completion of yet another sizable battery facility. Following a series of meticulous tests, the facility has been energized and is poised to initiate its online operations come the month of April. Bearing the name Elkhorn Battery System, this substantial 182.5 megawatt establishment finds its location on the Moss Landing power plant premises. Incorporating Tesla's innovative Megapack technology, which employs advanced lithium-ion batteries, as stated in a news release from PG&E, the Elkhorn Battery Project embodies the promise and potential impact of battery energy storage. 
The Elkhorn Battery Energy Storage System, BESS, received its approval from the California Public Utilities Commission in November 2018 and was granted further endorsement by the Monterey County Planning Commission in February 2020. Nestled within the Moss Landing Area, a significant estuary of Monterey Bay, the Elkhorn Battery System was a collaborative effort between PG&E and Tesla. Both companies contributed to its design, construction, and maintenance. However, the ownership and operation of the facility are solely under the purview of PG&E. Distinguished by its infrastructure, the facility comprises 256 Tesla Megapack battery units, each meticulously placed on 33 concrete slabs. Within each unit, batteries and power conversion equipment are neatly housed in a single cabinet. Complementary transformers and switch gear were installed to establish connections between the stored energy within the batteries and the 115 kilovolt transmission lines. With a robust capacity, the BESS can both store and release up to 730 megawatt hours of energy into the power grid, capable of reaching a maximum output of 182.5 megawatts for durations of up to four hours during peak demand periods. The strategic adoption of battery energy storage stands as a pivotal factor in the integration of renewable energy sources, particularly solar power. Simultaneously, this approach substantially elevates the overall reliability of California's ever-evolving energy supply landscape. This strategic approach involves charging batteries during low energy demand or high solar production periods and subsequently discharging the stored power into the grid during times of increased demand thereby enhancing grid capacity. Gaining recognition as one of the largest lithium-ion battery storage facilities globally, the Tesla-powered Elkhorn battery, though substantial, is not the largest among PG&E's four proposed systems. This distinction belongs to the Vistra Energy Storage Facility, which encompasses a Phase 1 system with a capacity of 300 megawatts slash 1200 megawatts per hour, followed by a Phase 2 system of 100 megawatts 400 megawatts per hour. Uniquely, the Vistra Energy Storage Facility has been integrated into what was once a gas-fired power plant, utilizing thousands of TR1300 battery racks provided by LG Energy Solution. This transformation symbolizes the ongoing shifts within California's energy landscape. Vistra, owning both the Moss Landing plant and property originally erected by PG&E in the 1960s, underscores the transition dynamics in California's energy sector. This shift occurred during the state's experiment with deregulating the energy industry, leading to the transfer of ownership to Duke Energy in 1998, along with three other plants including Morro Bay. An epitome of these trends, the completion of the Moss Landing Energy Storage Facility's expansion by Vistra Energy in California, solidifies its position as the world's most extensive lithium battery energy storage system asset. This augmentation adds 300 megawatts in output and 1400 megawatts per hour in energy capacity, augmenting the total capacity to an impressive 750 megawatts, 3000 megawatts per hour. Achieving this expansion within a scheduled 16-month time frame serves as a testament to the commitment and momentum propelling the battery storage sector forward. This endeavor marks the third phase in the company's strategic blueprint for repurposing the former power plant a facility that was a sibling to the shuttered Morro Bay power plant. In a notable divergence, Duke Energy managed to erect a combined cycle power plant boasting a capacity of 1,200 megawatts, fueled by natural gas at the Moss Landing site during the early 2000s. Intriguingly, despite facing permit denials for replicating the identical type, make, and model of the plant to replace the aging Morro Bay plant, an installation dating back to the late 1950s and early 1960s, Duke Energy achieved success with the Moss Landing project. However, the Morro Bay plant ceased operations in 2014 under Vistra's management. With a forward-looking perspective, Vistra has articulated intentions to expand its zero-carbon Vistra Zero portfolio to a formidable 7,300 megawatts by 2026, as reported by the article. This expansive endeavor encompasses a total of 5,000 megawatts allocated to renewables and energy storage alongside Vistra's substantial 2,300 megawatt Comanche Peak nuclear power plant situated in Glen Rose, Texas. Given the involvement of Tesla, it was a foreseeable occurrence that opposition would emerge against the Elkhorn Battery Initiative. 
As the Tesla-powered battery storage project entered a phase of public input on its potential environmental consequences, the California Unions for Reliable Energy emerged as a contender striving to thwart the project's advancement. The union asserted that Monterey County had fallen short of meeting the requirements of the California Environmental Quality Act. Their contention rested on the notion that the county should have conducted a more comprehensive investigation into the potential hazards of Tesla's batteries overheating and undergoing explosions. Furthermore, the group cautioned that Tesla's batteries had the potential to compromise the purity of groundwater in the Moss Landing region. Notwithstanding these efforts, they proved ineffective. In February 2020, the Monterey County Planning Commission arrived at a unanimous decision to greenlight the Tesla Megapack-powered Elkhorn battery. Plans for construction were scheduled to commence in late March, with optimistic projections pointing towards a completion timeline of approximately 18 months. Regrettably, an unforeseen hurdle emerged in the form of the pandemic, causing a subsequent disruption in the project's trajectory. However, undeterred by these setbacks, construction eventually took off in July 2020. By the onset of 2021, drone flyovers provided a reassuring vantage point, illustrating the seamless advancement in the installation of the Megapax units. The ascent of battery storage systems stems from their adeptness in mitigating the intermittent nature of renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind power. These systems store surplus energy generated during peak production periods and release it during high demand instances or when renewables are not actively generating electricity. This framework contributes to sustaining a consistent and dependable power supply. In California, the emphasis on resource adequacy requirements has played a pivotal role in driving the proliferation of grid-scale BAS. Battery developers' ability to secure long-term contracts, coupled with associated revenue streams from utility companies such as PG&E, has substantially fueled the expansion of the battery storage market. These contracts establish a reliable income source for developers, rendering large-scale projects more economically feasible. Although Moss Landing Project encountered initial challenges, including incidents of overheating leading to shutdowns, such setbacks have not hindered the advancement of battery storage projects, as evident from ongoing expansion initiatives. Similarly, other nations such as Australia and the UK are embracing the drive towards sustainable energy by actively channeling investments into substantial battery storage undertakings. As the momentum of the renewable energy sector continues to surge, it becomes increasingly evident that battery storage systems assume a pivotal role in safeguarding the pillars of grid stability, unwavering dependability, and adaptable flexibility. Thanks for watching. Till next time.